you want to be real. Sometimes stuff just be hype and it don't really be all day. I think it's just hallelujah. <laughs> the dust. This was my girl at one point. Cause look, she almost gone. Not hitting. Hey, I want to be able to pick this this day, that that day. This. Trash. Dude, this is fun. This is fun. And I think makeup Shayla oversold it. Okay, they all didn't work for us. That word feels right. Yeah. No way, boy. Ain't no way. It just does some things that I love. Nothing came to mind. I don't even like skin tints. So why do I have so many? <laughs> Hello friends, it's me, Kiana G. I'm back with another video. In today's video, we are doing a declutter or starting our declutter. So I'm just trying to slowly declutter my whole entire makeup collection and my hair supply wig collection. And I want to do my closet as well. So things are changing. Life is changing out with the old and with the new. So if you like declutter videos or you want to just go along this ride with me with this series then please 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 subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into it my collection is not that big but i want to get rid of stuff that i'm not using stuff that i haven't because i got a few things in here that i ain't even touched maybe swatch but i haven't put on my face so once you open it the clock starts ticking i mean some products you can keep past the date but some products like liquid products can't really do that <laughs> but this is what the foundation drawer is looking like without me spilling everything out so we got a mixture it's mostly sephora stuff i feel like like sephora brands but we got some drugstore in here so Ooh. so let's get into it before we start you guys i uploaded a ulta haul it's the last video before this one please check it out and see what new stuff i bought from drugstore because the drugstore tutorials are coming, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna pull it, it and um, this is gonna be rapid fire. Bam, 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 because I have used most of the stuff in videos, so I have some videos linked down below if you wanna see these products in action, but it's gonna be rapid fire. I'm keeping it or not, keeping it or not, keeping it or not, okay? Okay. Huda Beauty, full filter, this is the, the new, luminous matte version and then this is oh, also the luminous matte version so i got two of those and then this one is the original formula yeah this one is the original formula oh it's so dusty <laughs> okay so i am keeping all of these i'm keeping the luminous matte these two shades of the luminous matte one because i just bought these and um yeah, I thought that it was two shades of the original. I didn't realize it was two shades of the of the new one. I don't know. Either way, I'm keeping these two. And I'm keeping this one just for old time's sake because this, when I first got into makeup, this was my girl, okay? So I am never throwing her away, okay? I will keep this forever just for what it means to me. This was like my start. Um... This was like one of the first, it actually might be the first foundation that I bought from Sephora. Like my first like high-end um, foundation. And this foundation showed me that I like full coverage. And I don't need full coverage, but I like full coverage. So, yes, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping all three of these. This one I'm not going to use, but these I'm going to try to use. Um, I just bought the chocolate mousse one. Um, recently but I don't I don't know why for some reason I thought that the other one was it over okay anyway keep it this one keep it this one next we got Juvia's Place I never even used these and I recently um, hauled in my last video I hauled the new Juvia's Place foundation and the funny thing is the shade that I got in that foundation it's neither one of these shades. <laughs> so, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah, I swatched both these, I think. Yeah, I swatched them both. Um, um, I think I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these just for insurance if the new shade that I got does not work for me. I can use these to like balance it out and still stay within because I want to do a full face of Juvia's Place video. So if I use these to balance out the new formula, I'll still be like in the realm like not a total like flop okay <laughs> ain't through way none yet girl okay let's go so next we got the house labs foundation the house labs foundation she's cute i am willing to try one more shade if not if the next shade i use doesn't work then i'm just gonna just be like y'all can have this one but I liked the cover. I liked the way it wore. Just I didn't like the shade on me. And this is the only shade that they like recommended for me and my skin tone. So yeah, but I'm going to keep it and give her a try. So yeah, I'm actually going to switch the shade. This is the shade 460 medium deep warm. I'm going to see if they have like a medium deep neutral or even a cool. Even even I could I could I could make a cool tone like uh foundation work so i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can swap these shades i don't know how long it been since i bought this i don't know but i'm gonna try it okay i'm gonna try to swap the shades out of it i'm gonna refilm with this but i did a review with this foundation trash okay i didn't like it i didn't like it i didn't like it <laughs> Next, we got the Makeup Forever HD Skin. And I bought this because I love the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder. So I went ahead and bought this because of, off of that shade match. And it's not the same name, but it's the same color. So I'm shade Y505 if you are referencing for me. So I'm shade Y505 in the powder. And there, I would have been that shade in their old foundation, but I just never tried it. But this one, they reformulated it, so they changed the numbering system. So in this one, I'm 4N62. So if you want to do a shade match, I love, love this foundation, okay? There's been so many new with this popping up. I'm trying to review all of the new stuff, but this one... If you have not tried this foundation, please screenshot it so you can go get a sample at least from Sephora. It's so, so good. And it photographs so well. Like it, like when it comes to photography, it's it's neck and neck with these two. This the Huda Beauty photographs really well, okay? And this one does too. So these two, neck and neck. So keeping her of course <laughs> okay all right oh these are dusty so these foundations i got these from um where did i get these from maybe nordstrom so i know i didn't get it from all damn burberry.com but either way these are burberry um foundations one is matte glow oh these both are matte glow oh two different shades okay dark neutral 120 and dark neutral 130 both matte glow foundations i just never got around to um applying it like i never i never even like swatched these i never even pumped them like there's no makeup coming out <laughs> so um I don't know, y'all. I feel like there's so many. God, let me see if this is even available to purchase. Hold, please. Let's see if it's even available. Because if it's if it's if it's available to purchase, I will try it in the video to see if it's even worth the purchase. <laughs> but um, yeah. Let's see. All right. So, upon further investigation. Um, I see that they, they have it on their website and also say it's at Walmart. I ain't never seen this in a Walmart. Okay. But if you look, you got a good Walmart, you might find it, but I'm on Burberry.com and the two shades that I have, 
one says coming no wait they both say um they both say coming soon not quite sure what that means but yeah they both say matro matro what is matro oh goodness matte glow liquid foundation yeah they both both of the shades that i have say coming soon if you're interested i'll keep them for now if you're interested okay i'll keep them for now if you're interested let me know if not i'm gonna throw those away but let me know okay because they might be bangers and i've never even swatched these which means that I really have no clue how they work. Normally, I swatch things. I'm kind of glad I didn't swatch this because I feel like since I did not swatch it, the the time hasn't started running yet. I'm not sure if that's how that works. <laughs> but if you want me to try these, let me know. Okay? I'll hold them until you guys tell me. Okay? Ooh, y'all ain't gonna like this. Y'all ain't gonna like this, but... I didn't like it, okay? <laughs> the Pat McGrath Foundation. I think it's beautiful, okay? The shade was kind of lame for me. But my issue was, this is for, like, somebody who wants, like, my skin but better. Um, light coverage, easy, everyday, like, light makeup okay it's literally called the skin fetish subline perfection foundation i'm a full coverage babe okay i like to look like i have on makeup if i spent time doing my makeup i want you to see my makeup you know what i'm saying i don't want to be looking like my skin but better because that's the case because i'm I'm real like I'm real either bare face or full face you know like I'll do like brows and mascara but I ain't never did like concealer but no foundation I don't I haven't quite understood or mastered that technique I don't know how that works yet like how do you set it or do you not set it I don't know y'all <laughs> but um I don't know should I keep it let me know let me know let me know you guys let me know should I keep the Pat McGrath foundation I want her to make this in like a full coverage like that kind of formula because that's my vibe like I feel like she did a great job with this formulation for to go for what she was going for she nailed it okay but this is, I, I, it's just not enough. And if you, and you, you, I mean, you can build it. It's super lightweight to the point where you can build it, but I know I got time for that. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm going to, should I keep it? Let me know. The shade I'm in in the dark, I mean, in the, the dark neutral, what the heck? The shade I'm in in the Pat McGrath skin fetish is medium deep 24. It was a little, it pulled a little bit warm on me. Um, but that's the closest match that I had for my skin tone. So, yeah, let me know if I should keep it or not. I don't know. Okay. Next up, we got my favorite right now, Makeup by Mario. Not getting rid of her. We're going to buy it back up. She's my girl. Okay. Okay. Today, I have this. I have these two. No way. Today, I have these two mixed together on my face. I have this one in Chocolate Mousse and this one in 23-0. Oh, yeah, 23 I have these two mixed together on my skin. Right now, I did three pumps of this one and two pumps of this one, if you care. But I think I look good. I like the color that I like the way it balanced out, okay? So, yeah. Not, 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 not. Ain't no way in the world. Ain't no way. I tweeted about this. I was like... If you don't like the Makeup by Mario foundation, first of all, you're nuts. But I want to know, like, tell me why you don't like it, okay? I want to talk about it. Because if you don't like it, you, it's probably because of the shimmer. But you, it's not like glitter. But, like, I wore this foundation out one day. Just I just put it on my face with a little bit of primer. And I did not set it at all because I wanted to see 
and you can see the glitter in the sun, but it's not like, it's not like childish glitter. It's like she has bomb skin and then she, you know, like it, it's beautiful. I don't know what the girls, cause when I did my initial review, which I'll have a link down below, I did not even notice the glitter. I did not notice the glitter, shimmer, the mica, whatever y'all are calling it. I did not even notice it at all. I was just so pleased with the shade match. I didn't even care about anything else, okay? So this is a buildable, natural skin-like e kind of foundation, but I just said I like full spackle, a full beat, a full mask. But the way this looks, I'm keeping this forever, forever, ever, forever. ever. <laughs> These next two foundations are the Elf Flawless. Oh, one is Flawless Satin and one is Flawless Finish. Oh, these are brand new. I haven't opened them. Um, one is cocoa, one is nutmeg. The cocoa says deep with neutral undertones. <laughs> Excuse me. And then nutmeg says deep with peachy undertones. These are so dusty. <laughs> I am ashamed. These are so dusty. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. Maybe I could save these for a full face of elf. What you think? What you think? No. I feel like Elf has come up come out with better things than than this. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get rid of these too cuz yeah. I feel like Elf has like elevated since the release of these two. Cause I know I've had those for at least a year, maybe two. The next one on the list we got is Morphe. She can go. Okay. She was cool. A little too matte from my taste. I like to make Myself like matte or dewy depending on how I'm feeling that day. This doesn't really give me that much of an option. I think makeup Shayla Oversold it. Okay, that's just my opinion. I Yeah, she can go she can go <laughs> Okay, next we got Two of the color pop pretty fresh um, Tinted moisturizers and I'm not a I'm not a tinted moisturizer girl. Like, I be trying, I be buying stuff like, oh, maybe I like this. Maybe this might be the one that changed my mind. Girl, bye. I didn't even pump these. I didn't even pump these. Like, are you joking? Are you seriously joking? Or are you serious? I didn't even pump these. I mean, are you guys so interested in tinted moisturizers? Do you, I mean, of course you are, but are you interested in these? Do you care about these? Like, why do I have two, well, cause I don't even know how to put, I be buying two shades of most stuff that I, that doesn't have a tester because I don't know what shade I am. And my skin changes colors. I mean, not in a crazy way, but my skin changes with this with the season. So I be trying to have like, just in case I like it, I want to have options. I love to have options, okay? I want to be able to pick this this day, that that day. Th That's me. Get to know me. I like options, okay? So if you're interested in this, they definitely still sell this. I saw this in Ulta just the other day. Um, but let me know. I didn't even pump these. So I have no clue what they do. Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shades Deep Dark 21W and Dark 18W. <laughs> I don't know, girl. I don't know. Okay, we. Can, if you want to see these in action, let me know. Comment down below. Let me know. I will. I will put these to the side. And if, you, if you're interested, I'll go to Ulta and buy, like, the matching concealer. We can do a full face. Because at this point, they have, like, a full line from this pretty fresh situation. So I can do, like, the whole thing if you are interested. So let me know. 
okay i will keep these to hear what you guys say about it and then i'll go from there okay okay next is the nars natural radiant if you were if you got into makeup i'll say 2000 and eight, se 17 18 ish kind of this was our girl this was our girl if you ain't never tried a nars NARS don't miss. Let's 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 just start there, okay? Let's let's start there because NARS does not miss, okay? They 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 did me wrong one time. I mean just once with the NARS soft matte foundation. That didn't work for me because it's just not my kind of foundation, but I wanted to try it anyway. But other than that, the sheer glow, the natural light reflecting or whatever the hell, and this one. NARS they don't miss okay keeping it keeping it maybe I should do a video of full face of like old faves or something because this natural radiant is our girl and I'm always Macau and um, NARS yeah MD4 if you go by the codes MD4 Macau I, I always grab Macau and NARS for foundations um, no matter what formula it is they 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 pretty much correlate. Nars is really good with that. They pretty much correlate. So keeping her. Why am I keeping everything? Oh no, I'm not. We get we get some nitty gritty now. All right, y'all ain't gonna like this. Fenty Beauty, eavesdrop. Is that what it's called? Eavesdrop blurring skin tint. She can go. She can go just because. I don't even like skin tints. I don't even like skin tints. So why do I have so many? What I don't even like them. Why do I have so many? I'm a makeup magnet. I guess. <laughs> okay, keep it pushing. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Next we got the Maybelline Fit Me Do You Smooth in the shade 355 Coconut. Um, are we over this or? Or, 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 what do you think? Like, seriously, let me know. What do you think? Have I even opened this? I don't know. It doesn't have a pump, so I can't tell if I opened it or not. Um, am I even just like giving summer shade low key? No, I don't know. Let me know. Should I keep it? The Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth with Vitamin E. I feel like I, I haven't seen this purple um, like labeling. I don't know, girl. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Okay, so next we got two Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundations. Uh, did I try these? Yes, I did try these, or, or I at least swatched it. I don't have any thoughts. Nothing came to mind. I feel like I tried these once. I might have applied it. I be trying so much makeup, y'all. I don't remember, okay? But that's how I know if it's good or not. Because if I try all my stuff that I try and I do remember, that means she was the one. Either, that means either, if I remember from everything, that means it was either like really good or really bad, right? And I don't know which way this went, so I'm gonna say these two can go. So, I don't know. I'm gonna let these two go. Because, um, yeah. And they might have some new stuff coming anyway. Milani, the drugstore um, companies, the drugstore brands are stepping it up, okay? They say, oh, we got something for y'all, so y'all just sit and wait. So they are, I feel like Milani got something else coming. So I'm going to just wait on that because I feel like it's only going to get better and better and better and better. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, next we got full coverage Maybelline Superstay. And I'm, I got the shades 340 and 355, well, 340 Cappuccino and 355 Coconut. These are so separated. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even. Oh man. Oh man, I didn't even pump these either. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I have to keep these because I have to. Oh no. There's no way. There's no way I'm. There's no way that I have not opened these make. You want a full face of Maybelline or a drugstore tutorial? Another one? Let me know. I have no idea if these shades will match me though. I might have to go back and go lighter. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these. So, okay. So if that's the case, since I got these these two full coverage all night stay whatever the hell i'm gonna get rid of this one the fit me the baby leaf it be doing it smooth if it's meant to be it'll be she will come back to me okay 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 next we got the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter okay confession i have never put this on my face as a foundation i like to use this as a under foundation highlight because it adds like this nice little healthy she drink a lot of water kind of a look to the skin um i haven't used it on my on its own because it's like the skin tint is really thin not really full cover so it's not really my vibe but the luminosity that this has i like it i put it here, down my nose and on my chin, on my forehead sometimes. If I'm going to put foundation on my forehead, I'll put it on my forehead. If not, then I won't. But, you guys, I I think that, like, I don't use highlighter anymore because I put this under. If you have this, try it under your makeup and tell me what you think because I see and feel the difference, okay? Well, not feel, but I see and feel like it's making a difference okay and the elf halo glow is supposed to be a dupe for this i feel like I, i'm not really a dupe girl because i feel like some products are one of one um but the elf baby elf will deliver okay like elf has been around for a very long time elf they know exactly what they are doing at elf okay so i feel like Elf is the, everybody want to be a dupe for this. You're not, okay? The only one that's even close is Elf. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of this. Like, she's going to last, because I'm going to use it here, here, and here, and here, and here. She's going to last forever. So I'm going to use her, okay? I'm going to keep her, okay? Okay. Next, we got Dose of Colors. She can go. Too matte, too dry. The color was cool. No, the color... Wait, what's this color? No, the color was nice, but the formula... Nah. It it didn't... For me, it didn't play well with other products. And I'm not about to commit to only wearing you when I'm using your concealer. Only wearing you when I'm... You know? No. I need versatile, mix and match friendly products. Okay? So do you. <laughs> okay. Next, we got the L'Oreal True Match. The OG true match okay this is the one that i feel like they should have just left it alone i mean but sometimes i feel like companies they say it's new but they just repackaged it to like boost the sales up really quick and that i i i understand that i can i ain't even mad at that i'm not even mad at that but this if it was never broke so why y'all messing with it, okay? So in my support, I mean in my Ulta haul that I just uploaded video back, I bought the new version of it. And I'm gonna keep this so I can compare the two. Um, this one is the shade Soft Sable. The new one that I have is they don't even have names, girl. It's like N8, I think, Neutral 8, and this one is Cool Six. I'm gonna hope for the best. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to hope for the best and another NARS foundation. This is the NARS light reflector, Night light, the NARS light reflecting foundation. Absolutely keeping it. If you want a foundation from NARS, but you don't know where to start, either one of these two, because sometimes, sometimes depending on what products you use, sometimes sure glow can be a little too... 
wet looking, um, depending on your product that you comp that you pair it with. So I don't know, but this is a safer bet. The NARS light reflecting, it's like this is like the mama, and this is the daughter. Okay, but the, even though the daughter came first, but the mama is better. Okay, like these two. Nars light reflecting and natural radiant. Okay, like the, I feel like this, the light reflecting one, is it's made more with like a not your skin but better because the natural radiant gives my skin but better. Um. I think that this is like my skin, but better, but in the summertime, okay? So like she got a tan, her skin is glowy, she's been eating water, I'm eating water, she's been drinking water, she's been uh, meditating and getting some good good maybe, okay? Um, but yeah, the NARS is light reflecting, yep, out of all of the NARS that I've tried, this is number one. That's number one, that's number two. Okay, okay. Okay, the next foundation is a Sephora Best Skin Ever. Y'all, do not sleep. Do not sleep on Sephora Collection. Sephora Collection. Sephora Collection is like the section that you walk by because you're in Sephora, so you want to buy the big brands, right? You want to buy the Makeup by Mara. You want to buy the Pat McGrath because you're in Sephora, but don't ever discount Sephora Collection because they have some stuff in there. Their, their powder's really good. The concealer, I have the concealer on right now. The concealer's really good. The foundation's really good. Their blushes are good. Their single shadows are good. Their eyeliners are good. The, the eyeliners are a little dry. But they might have some gel ones coming out of something. But other than that, Sephora Collection. And when they have a sale, Sephora Collection be 30% off. Girl, 30% off, okay? Don't sleep. So I'm in the shade 44Y. Good shade match. Good coverage. And I have smile lines. This foundation... Listen to me, okay? Try it. Go get a sample of it and wear it for a few hours and it just so you can feel it for yourself. Best skin ever. The best skin ever, okay? Okay. It doesn't have any added glow to it, but it it just it just does some things, okay? It just does some things that I love, okay? Okay. Okay. The next one is NYX Born to Glow. Um, she can go only because it's really old. And I think that I have worn this. Yeah, I've worn this. So, yeah. She's, she's, um, yeah. She can go. Natural, naturally radiant foundation. They might have been trying to dupe the NARS. Um, I don't know about this. I don't remember if it was good or bad, which means that it was mad. So, I'm going to. Put this down, throw it, or get rid of it, and I'm gonna go and try their new stuff. NYX has so many products. I bought the new NYX Blurring Skin Tint, even though I don't like skin tints, but I wanted to try it, so I bought that. So I'm gonna see, okay? Th th this has to be expired. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way it ain't, okay? Ain't no way. So I'm gonna get rid of this, but I have the new NYX, I have a new NYX primer, a new NYX, um, um, foundation and I have a new NYX um, blush so stay tuned for that video okay subscribe hit the bell <laughs> okay the last foundation the last liquid foundation that I want to show you guys is the, Nar the NARS the MAC Studio Sculpt y'all I be so into Sephora that I low key be forgetting about MAC this foundation is, I don't know. I wear it all the time, you guys. And I i wear it all the time. And I get, I get the most compliments with this foundation and the Huda Beauty Foundation. The old one or the new one. Either Huda, I get the most 
comes with these two, okay? Cause they, cause they, they have a lot of coverage, but not cakey coverage. Like even like blur coverage, okay? It doesn't claim to blur, but it makes me feel and look so smooth and buttery. This is a, this is a liquid. Like all the other ones are like liquid foundations, but this is like a, a moussey kind of texture, right? I don't know what to tell y'all. You gotta try it. Like they put all the black girls in NC50, so I'm NC50. It just so happens to match me really well, but go try. I don't know if does Mac do samples. I don't know. If you know, let us know in the comments, please. But if you can get a sample, get a sample of the Mac Studio Sculpt Foundation. Okay, it's in a two. It's a moussey texture. Give it a try. It's so bomb, you guys. So this is my second tube of it. It's so bomb. Okay? Okay. Okay, that's it for the foundation. Now let's get into the powders. We got setting powders and foundation powders. Let's get into it. Okay? Okay. All right. So first, we're going to start this with the Huda Beauty Powder. Okay? I have um, Cinnamon Bun and Kunafa. These both are steady because... What? Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. <laughs> Keeping those. Okay, we got Sephora. I can put this down, actually. So we got Sephora Collection. Um, Sephora Micro Smooth. And I got this in the shade es yeah, Espresso. And I got this with the intention to use it as the bronzer. Um, It was cool. It, you know, because it doesn't have a lot of coverage. It's not meant to have a lot of coverage. But I'm trying to find the right color for me so I can have like a shade match to be able to swatch to be able to match up with other bronzer products when I'm in Sephora, right? So I bought that as like a shade barometer. That word feels right, yes. So that's what I bought that for, but you know, whatever. So next we got the Sephora Loose Setting Powder. I done told y'all, don't sleep on Sephora Collection, okay? The the shade that I have is translucent or universal. It's a little stark. <laughs> it's a little stark, okay? But it works, you guys. I did a full face of better skin for better skin ever, best skin ever foundation Sephora Collection situation. I have a link down below. My face looked really good. Okay? Okay. And so regulation is really affordable. And when they have to sell it, be 30% off. Okay? And this joint be sold out. So y'all know. The girls know. I was late to the party, but now I know. So I'm telling you, Sephora Collection Universal Setting Powder. Loose Setting Powder. So this powder is the Makeup Forever uh, Matte Velvet Skin. This is my first powder to, that I ever have hit pan on, and I'm so proud. She be using her stuff, y'all. It took me about a year and a half, maybe two. But she using her stuff, y'all. She using her stuff, okay? I'm not getting rid of this. They have a new one. They have a new HD Skin found, um, Foundation Powder, whatever. I guess it's meant to go along with the foundation. I was so excited about it. I, I was like juiced, okay? I was lit, excited to buy it. But then I saw that it's not like corresponding shades, right? And I just don't have the energy right now in my life <laughs> to be going back and forth. I thought it was going to be able to just go in there and get walk out of high and keep it pushing. No, they don't have it like that anymore. They have it to where it's like one shade of powder goes for like maybe three shades of foundation or so or whatever. And I just don't want to be combing through and, 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 and trying and not liking and not. So I'm going to wait until the girls review it. Then I will try it. Okay. Okay. But I'm keeping this one because that's my girl. Super smooth, super flawless, super light. It does have coverage because it's a foundation powder, so it does have coverage. 
it will definitely amplify your liquid foundations um so if you don't want that to happen just use a light hand and you can use a fluffier like a less densely packed brush to get like less coverage but if you want to get the full like experience get you a densely packed flat foundation brush and dig in there and just pat don't get to swiping because your foundation gonna be wet still don't swipe on wet foundation do your brush load it up and then you're gonna press into the skin cover the whole whatever area you're trying to cover cover the whole thing and then you get a big powder fluffy brush and then you start to dust away the excess and go on about your business but yes 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 next we got the Kosas silky cloud set i tried this one time i mean i don't know y'all I, I held it to the standard of make um of somewhere between sephora micro um what's this called sephora micro smooth and the mac mineralized skin finish i was trying to put it somewhere in between those two i think i gotta try it some more so i think i'm gonna keep it i only used it one time so i'm gonna keep it closest silky cloud set yeah i'm gonna keep this because i i need to give her more of a try before i like get rid of her okay next we got the what is this even oh crap this is the a becca highlighter what do y'all remember <gasps> do y'all remember how jacqueline hill had us Jacqueline Hill and Becca had us in a chokehold, okay, for these highlighters, okay? They all didn't work for us, but this one did. This is the shade um, Topaz, right? And nowadays, you could find Becca at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or um, Ross. If you see the shade Topaz and you're my skin tone or deeper, grab it because you can, with this particular highlighter, you can control the intensity of it because it's 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 made really well. It's like got it's not powdery. It's like it's like a oil. It's not oily because oily kind of sounds bad, but it's I I I don't know emollient. No, not emollient. It's they did a good job with this. Okay, they did a good job. I'm not getting rid of this because I'm gonna keep. Even though I don't wear highlighter no more. I still want to keep it. But for the girls that put highlighter on their nose, at the tip and in the line, and your my skin tone are deeper, try the Becca Topaz. If you find it, grab it. I think I like all my powders <laughs> for the most part. What the heck? Okay. Next, we got the Maybelline Super Stay. I could see some brush strokes, but I don't remember. I think I'm going to get rid of this one because... Let's see. Well, 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 okay. Let's see how this shade compares to the matte velvet, the matte velvet skin. Oh yeah, they're the same shade. This can go. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna get rid of this one because we just don't need it. Okay. Next we have, I have two Laura Mercier powders. I haven't used a Laura Mercier powder. And I don't know how long. And it was the, like this, 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 this <laughs> got us in a frenzy. Okay. It had us in a frenzy, in a chokehold. Okay. So I originally had the original, but I guess I used it up because it's not in my drawer. Maybe I gave it away. I don't know. But I have a translucent honey and translucent medium deep. Oh, if I got this, why do I need the Huda Beauty? Girl, hold on a second. Because if I have this in medium deep, I don't need the Huda Beauty and Cinnamon Bun. Because they're the same thing, right? Let's see. Let's compare the shades. Let's compare the shades. Let's compare the shades. Ooh, this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. Oh, that's the same shade. Oh no, the oh no, the Laura Mercier is a little warm, a little bit warmer. A 
a little bit warmer. Okay, I'll keep both. I'll keep both because I, 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 what? I'll keep both. Okay, I'll keep both. But yeah, Laura Mercier in medium deep. This was intended to be used as a overall, a full face setting powder. Um, it's the same thing with the Huda Beauty uh, cinnamon bun. Same thing. Same concept. Okay, so I'm going to keep that one. Now let's see what the translucent honey is hidden for. Oh, I haven't opened up my makeup in so long. I need to use my stuff because I'm a creature of habit. When I find something that I like, I will wear it to the ground, use it to the ground. Oh, this is too different. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. I feel like this one is a more peachy. The Laura Mercier is a more peachy tone, honey, like golden, warmer tone powder. And this Kunafa one is just straight up like golden. Am I going to keep? I'm going to keep both. I'm going to keep both. You guys knew that already. Oh, no. This is has went from a declutter to a just her figuring out what she got in her collection again, okay? I am rediscovering my whole collection, so I'm keeping the translucent honey, okay? I'm, okay, so now at this point, now I see I need to do a revisiting old products video. You ain't got to tell me. I'm going to do it because I want to see. Because I don't remember how, I mean, of course, I know it worked because Laura Mercier, but I don't remember if it was like, oh, my God, the best powder ever. You know, I feel like because sometimes stuff just be hype. If you want to be real sometimes stuff just be hype and it don't really be all that okay i feel like that might have been all that but i don't know we gotta revisit it okay i gotta revisit it okay next we got the dragon beauty um what was this called translucent invisible setting powder i'm throwing this away because the owner is just too much for me, so I'm getting rid of this for that reason. But this powder was good. And that that's always the case. The same thing with Huda Beauty, right? It's like she completely ripped off Beauty Bakery with the whole, like, um, easy bake and how her promo. She Huda Beauty, she literally went from the desert to the bakery. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there and, and I'll be trying to resist the urge, but this powder is just so good. I hope the owner of Beauty Bakery, I hope she got some royalties on that or some kind of payment for that because she did through her fucking idea. But it's a good product, so I'm gonna use it. But this one here, this Miss Nikita Dragon, mm -mm. she can go. She can go. Okay? So many powers in the world, she can go. Oh, I got the. Oh, here's the elf. That's so funny because I just bought another elf halo glow. I bought the pink one to do the pink under eye thing. But here's one in here the elf halo. Oh, it's so dusty. The elf halo glow setting powder. And it's in skin, it's in a skin tone color. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep the Elf Halo Glow to see what it's hidden for. And if it does not blow my wig back, I'm going to get rid of it. Because they have other stuff coming and so many different options. So, yeah. Okay. Next we got the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And I'm in the shade Dark. We're in it today. Keeping it. No question about it. Going to buy another. Case closed. <laughs> it leaves you with this lit from within. She has beautiful skin, flawless, not filter. You don't look fake, but you look beautiful. Okay? Beautiful. <laughs> okay? This old school makeup, I mean, old school Sephora collection, micro smooth and fonce deep. Um... Mine is broken, so I guess I should get rid of it, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this because 
it's just old. I'm buying a new one. When, this, when the sale comes, I'll buy a new one. 30% off for Sephora collections. So I'll go ahead and get a new one. So this can go. Next, we got the Juvia's Place setting powder, which I've never got to use. I'm in the shade Kalahari. Um, yeah, I never even opened it. So just a yellow, loose setting powder. So I'm going to give this a try when I do my full face of Juvia's Place. So I'm definitely keeping this. But if it does not work, if it's not hitting, I'm going to declutter it. Okay. Next is another Charlotte Tilbury product. I know. I know her stuff is expensive, but it works. Okay. This is a tight, the mini version of her, what is this even called? Um, lights. Um, I don't know what it's called, y'all. But I got it in the shade number two to pop it under my eyes. I just... Because the shade is so bright, I pop it right in this this little little section, this little corner, this little nook <laughs> right here, just to like brighten up just a little bit. It has the most subtle um, brightening effect that I just love. I love, I love, I love. Okay, you get this on like a a loose. A loosely packed um kind of like rounded brush let me see if I have one hold on so you get this powder on a brush like this and you just this kind of brush fits right up in that area right and you just keep it there don't take it all the way out because this the shade I have is number two it's too bright for me to take it all the way out but just pop it right there good to go good to go okay two Maybelline Fit Me Powders. One is in the shade Sun Beige and 355 Coconut. These are brand new. I guess I'll give them a try. If I have the Matte and Poreless Foundation, I don't want to use Matte and Poreless Powder. Do I? Girl, what is happening? I don't know y'all are y'all interested in, do y'all care about these anymore let me know let me know let me know depending on what you guys say i'll keep or delete not delete <laughs> i'll keep or declutter um yeah y'all let me know um i didn't open either one so yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know guys i don't know i don't know i don't know tell me what you think tell me tell me tell me tell me now next we have Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade 30, uh, medium deep. I have 35, which is deep Fonse. I did not realize that I had so many skin tone, toned, loose setting powders. And I have three. Why do I need, well, four. Why do I need four loose? Okay, whatever. And I have the shade 20 which is light medium. So this is what the shades look like. If you like this powder, let me know because I don't remember. I mean, it's Maybelline. I'm sure it's good. It's Maybelline. But I don't remember off top of my head if I like really, really loved it or not. And judge it by how dusty it is. I ain't used it in a while. This was my girl at one point. Cause look, she almost gone. So... Now, let's see. Did we open this one? Oh, we opened this one, too. Okay, so I've used all three of these, which is, I'm happy to see that. <laughs> but I don't remember her, so we're going to have to give it a try. Okay, okay. Okay, and my last setting powder that I know I'm keeping, that I want you to try, is the one size, what is this even called? The one size translucent, I don't know. Oh, it's right here. The One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. Try it. Try it. Okay? Try it. Will you use this powder? Let me know. Come back and comment and let me know. Because this baby, like... The color might be a little bit of a, a little bit alarming for you, but it works out. It works out. No flashback. Smooth coverage. 
not cakey, not heavy. I have it on right now. It is just my top two. Like right now, right now, this and my Huda Beauty. Okay? Okay. Give this a try. They might have, at this point, they might have minis. Because companies always make minis, ver make mini versions of their best sellers. Please try it. And they have um, a deeper skin tone one too. I haven't tried that one yet. Clearly, I don't need it. But I'm probably still going to buy it. Because I'm just a psycho like that. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, give this powder a try. And come back and comment down below and let me know. Because I want to know how you like it. Because you're going to love it. Okay? Okay. Okay, friends, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end. I know this was long, and I didn't throw away much. Well, I threw away a lot of foundations, but it was just fun to go through and pick through and see what's popping, what I got, what I forgot about, what I try again, all that. It was just fun to go through the collection. So I'm gonna do concealer, um, blush, and bronzer next. So. You guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Put your notification bell on so you don't miss. Because they're coming. The videos, they are back to back to back. I'm trying so hard to go from one video a week to two videos a week. I have been very successful lately. Okay, by the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> but that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let's chat about anything and everything. Let's talk about it, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!